Hello, everybody. We're going to Greece. <laughs> we are going to Greece. We a little excited? <laughs> Just a little. Yeah. So the boys are back here. Hang on, where'd they go? There they are. Boys are back there and uh, watching airplanes. And we are in the lounge and we're all packed and ready to go. And we're headed to Greece. So we can't wait to share everything with you. It's going to be an amazing trip. Well, we've also got one of the boys, the boys' best friends also coming. So he should be here soon too. So we're going to be quite the party. And then Haley and Marco will be joining us in a few days because um, they had work and couldn't get off, but it's going to be awesome. We're going to have a great trip. So let's get the party started. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Welcome to another day here in Greece. I'm so excited. I've got a little bit of my swag on today. We just finished doing a little mini workout here. So I've got my workout shorts on and my running shoes. <laughs> and uh, we have been here now for two days. So we got in late the first day. So I haven't really given you a tour of the house or anything yet. There's gonna be a full tour over on the home channel, but um, maybe I'll just take you through after we chat a little bit. I'll show you um, some sneak peeks here so you can get a little peek of the house. Uh, but we've been in Greece for a couple days now, and I just spent, a, we went downtown a little bit to see the downtown area of Mykonos, I had an amazing dinner. In these international trips, you just arrive so exhausted. It ended up taking us 24 hours to get here. So we were so worn out. We got in really late into the house and then woke up really late the next day and really just had time to just go for a couple hours downtown, found a great sweatshirt. I got the same one for Haley. I'll show it to you in a minute. And yeah, just we're just finally starting to feel a little bit acclimated. So uh, I love it here. <laughs> I absolutely love Greece and I love Mykonos. So this is my second time ever being to Greece. And if you don't know this about me, I'm Greek <laughs> and I'm actually second generation um, from my grandmothers and then my grandfathers were born in, a, in the US, but my grandmothers were both born in Greece. So uh, it's a very exciting time to be here. We're having a great time and it is a little strange to like see so many people who kind of look like me, <laughs> like features, you know what I mean? So um, that has been absolutely amazing. But um, I have actually not unpacked my bag and it's driving me crazy because I don't really feel settled in a place until I properly unpack my bag. And so I've actually gone in and rummaged around and that is so unlike me. 
but we were just so worn out when we got here and the travel was, it was a little bit tiring. I think because the layover in Athens was kind of long and it just, that part just took a while. It took a while. So we just arrived a little bit tired and I didn't unpack and then just kind of, we all just kind of woke up a little bit drowsy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna unpack with you today. I've created more of a mess than anything else in here. By the way, Jack went and got us coffees. This is from Waka Coffee. So I'm gonna do an entire guide to each of the islands that we visit. We're gonna be going to Mykonos. We're gonna be going to Santorini, to Crete, and then Rhodes. I've had out my little suit. This is the one from Banana Republic. In fact, I can throw the little shorts over this. I've ended up loving this. My mom said she actually brought the same one with her and I have ended up loving this. Do you know that all of this was like hyper organized before? I'll, sit, I'll put up a, a picture of what it looked like before. I don't know what got into me. So I've got my workout shorts. I also was able to buy a curling iron here. So that was good. Oh, I bought the, brought the Versace. Versace. <laughs> I don't know why I always feel like I have to say it like that. The Versace bathing suit top, which is amazing because I've already worn it as a shirt as well. So the bikini is a little bit skimpy with the kids around. Like I, yeah, probably not gonna wear it around the kids, but um, definitely got a couple other that are a little bit more modest. I got this one as well right before I left and fell in love with it. I thought that'd be so beautiful here. I love this workout wear. This is by a brand called Coral and I have a few of their pieces and yeah, so I've got my jeans, wore these uh, to travel here. I also wore my Amazon black blazer on the airplane. Also wore this little tank top on the airplane with the blazer over it. This is the one from Amazon and it is amazing. I love it. So I brought the Amazon little linen shorts. These are really, really good. Uh, brought the little leather shorts. It's actually not that hot here right now. It's only in the 70s. So it gets a little bit hot if you're sitting in the sun, but actually it's not that hot. So it's been nice. These are, oh, these are so good. These are the Abercrombie. These are the little pleated shorts. I wear these all the time. And they've got kind of like a linen, like a heavy linen feel to them. And they are amazing. I brought the linen shirt from the Banana Republic haul somebody said recently with all the hauls you do it's of course you need to do some decluttering um i don't always keep everything they're like try on hauls so just remember i don't always keep every single thing from them i keep the pieces that we all love so i do read your comments when i'm doing those hauls but i also didn't want to be misleading with you guys for you to think that I keep everything because I try it all on with you and then we decide together what we like out of that. Got these gorgeous, gorgeous shorts. These I actually bought from a company called Waif. I'll try to leave a link for all of them. I've got my little push-up bras. I've got this one and I've got the, it's my skin color. <laughs> I love Victoria's Secret's bras because I think they're more skin inclusive, which I, just absolutely love. I also brought the lace ones because I love these, like underneath a blazer. Got these from Amazon and I think I brought, you can see how this one was like a really nice match to like my, my skin tone. It's a little bit darker and I, I just fell in love with it. I thought it was gorgeous. So I've got the set of these. I've got a white one somewhere in here as well. So I love these kind of little sweaters like this, and that should be really cute with the shorts. This is also from Amazon, from the drop with the little lace. I wear this top all the time. It was so overwhelming trying to make sure that the suitcase was under 50 pounds for three weeks. This one from Massimo Duty with the little open, Crochet, cannot wait to wear this. It's still got the tag on it. I haven't worn it yet. I did bring the long pleated trouser also from Abercrombie. I love their little pieces. I have been absolutely blown away by everything I've bought from Abercrombie. Just absolutely blown away. Pieces are incredible. I bought a whole bunch for the boys right before we came and they are loving their pieces as well. But I bought this one from, um, this one's from In Other Stories. I can't wait to wear that by the pool. 
that is gonna be breathtaking. Got this beautiful bikini bottom. Look at the little piece on it. And the top is the same and it's so pretty. I am totally in love with that little collection that they had. I brought this little dress. This one is the Banana Republic one. It has removable straps as well. So I brought this one, it's like a linen. It's a little bit more bodycon style. And then I also brought the one from Amazon. That's what I was wearing, was it yesterday? I cannot even keep up with the days. And this is the OG <laughs> Adidas tank top that has holes in it. And then I bought myself a new one. So I could maybe start wearing this one in, get it nice and comfy too. So I've got a couple workout pieces here so that I can actually work out. I didn't wanna go three weeks without working out because honestly, if we're gonna go for like three or four days, I might not work out because I'm so consistent with it that occasionally I'll take a little break, like if we're on a trip, but three weeks, that's too long. <laughs> I would just be miserable. So you can see I've got more of the little Victoria's Secret bras in here. I've got the strapless as well, but I like this color on my skin. It's a little dark for me. You can kind of see the different like skin colors they offer. And then I bought a bunch of socks. I actually spent, sent Parker over to H&M because they have the best socks. The reason why is because their little socks go underneath your ankle bone and they fit so perfectly. It's the only low sock I have in my closet, period. Never done anything like this before and I really thought that I was crazy and I swore I would never buy a designer sneaker. But here's the thing, the leather on these is amazing and I loved how deep the grippy bit on the bottom is. These shoes are gonna last <laughs> for absolutely years and I, I am one happy customer with my Prada purchases. I've got the phone case, I've got some shoes, the bags, I've got a couple bags. They are so amazing. I've got things from several different designer brands, but out of all of them, Prada, it's just, oh my gosh, their leather is just incredible. I love them, I love them, I love them. And so Parker went to the H&M near us and grabbed the socks because I had gotten the sneakers and it was too late to get black socks. And I was like, I need a black sock to go with the black sneaker. I've got, oh, I bought the cutest, cutest little like play suit romper kind of piece. I did a little cutaway of this one as well for you. I'm so excited to wear this. I've got the black pajamas that I just absolutely love. Those are the satin ones from H&M that you guys hear me talk about all the time that I absolutely love. Oh, I brought this dress. This is the Banana Republic one. And it's got these really cute cutouts. And I ended up just absolutely loving it, but it's almost impossible to show it to you because the cutouts are a little weird. I found this really, really cool. Look at this, it's a little beach cover up. It's really, really fun. It's got like this netting kind of look. So I've got that. I also brought my robe because I am a person who likes to wear a robe. And I thought that this one was the smallest one. And it's that little velvet one that I got from Ralph Lauren. I don't think they sell it anymore, but Amazon has one that's really similar. This is all wrinkled, but I actually wore this yesterday and then just apparently threw it in here. But I think I could have almost have sized down on this one, the Banana Republic little tank top. I think I should probably have sized down just to be honest, but it's gonna have to work. <laughs> this is the very, um, this is the after hours Versace. <laughs> That's the back. <laughs> hey, I've been married for 25 years. You need to have a little bit of fun with your spouse, okay? So that's the bikini bottom. And then I brought this one as well. This is the one that I took with me to Anguilla. These, I love having like something really nice to sleep in from Victoria's Secret. I've got this in the white and the black with me. I have this cute little nightgown actually that Jack bought me and I haven't worn it yet. So I've got a couple fun, a couple fun little pieces in here. Yeah, see it also comes in the black from Victoria's Secret. And I just like sleeping in little pieces like this. So that's why I really needed the robe in case the boys are around. As far as bags, I brought the Saint Laurent Voltaire. Is that what they called it? I can't remember now. I 
love this bag. Maybe in the next one we'll do like what's in the bag, but um, yeah, basically it fits everything that I need. My lip gloss, my mints. I've got the Dior lipstick in here. This is the 216, I think so. I've got the Dior lip oil, which is amazing. I've got my Dior card case in here. And um, I actually have the Chanel hand. I don't know where the Dior one is, but I brought the Chanel hand lotion is in there. And then I've got like the tickets and stuff. I actually liked this because it has this front pocket up here. So I stashed some cash in here. And then we were also, while we were flying, I could put the boarding passes in the front. I've never had a bag that had that little like flap up there in the front, but it's actually like really helpful. And I flew with this one and I did bring the little body crossbody strap, but it is amazing. I love it. I bought the Demillier bag, the little croc embossed one with the little latch. <laughs> oh yeah, I also brought this necklace, which kind of got stuck in here. And I got that one from H&M as well. And it's gorgeous on, so I can't wait to wear that as well. Oh, and I brought the Alexander McQueen, the white croc. Yes, we love it, don't we? And then inside of here, I packed my Amazon belt. Let's see, put that back here. And, ooh, I did bring those. My mom was actually wearing hers. They have these really cool, like, cuff-style bracelets on Amazon. So I have two of those with me as well. I brought the ball cap in a couple colors. I brought it in black, and I brought it in the uh, beige color. I like to pack all the makeup. You have to kind of repack it once you get there. But basically, this is all the makeup that I brought with me. Oh, I need to pull that out for tonight's Amazon event. But these brushes, these Tangle Teasers, amazing. I'm late to the party, but I'm here. <laughs> I brought a little slew of uh, lipsticks and lip glosses for the trip. And today, I am wearing Victoria Beckham's oh, number three lip liner. I love her lip liners. If you really wanna treat yourself to something really amazing, get the Victoria Beckham lip liners. I did not like the, lip, the eyeliners because they were so wet, but that formula as a lip liner is incredible. And I paired that with that Saint Laurent lipstick that I was telling you guys about that just like, puffs up the lips and makes them amazing. I can't remember what color this is. It's got like an N1 on it. So I'll leave it linked, everything linked down below. And then today I'm wearing the Tom Ford. This is the Island Haze palette. Oh, yes, my hair is a bit messy, but that's what I'm wearing today. And I really think <laughs> that this iconic, it's a prep set and glow. I've been using it just as a setter not using it beforehand. I have a different product that I use. I'm using, I showed you guys last time, I did the, the V lighter that I'm using as the prep and it really just helps your skin just like glow. I just feel like I'm glowing, you know? And these products are amazing. Then I definitely, definitely brought the Soul. This is by Costa Br Brazil. Yeah, Costa Brazil. I will be adding this to my legs in a minute, along with my Eucerin lotion. Keeps the legs very happy. That's the crossbody strap to my bag. I did also bring my boxing gloves, so I did my workout this morning with that. Um, I did bring this belt as well, the Saint Laurent, in the beige kind of color. It's more of a taupe than beige. And I brought the Armani Queer Zerzua. Oh, Gosh, this fragrance is incredible, and I'm mixing it with the Mediterranean Honeysuckle from Erin. These two together, oh my word, amazing. The other bag I brought as a carry-on was the Saint Laurent, their little like rattan kind of bag. I brought that with me. I brought the wedges as well. I love the fact that these are all black. Oh, love them, love them, love them, love them. Give me just a second. I'm gonna kind of fudge this, you know, I'm gonna mess around just a second and make this all look much nicer. All right, so here we go. We've got everything more or less neatly put in here. You've still got the 
toiletries, these bags are incredible. It's the same kind of bags that just open. And so if I wanna close them, I can, but since they're in a drawer, I'm just gonna leave them like this. And you can see here, oh, I also brought a few of these um, sunscreens. They're incredible. I've got a pile of them downstairs. That's the extra one. And then everything kind of neatly, more or less, put away in here. Get this all, look at how amazing this is to have everything put away. <laughs> and then over here, I've got the bags and then the laundry bin, and then sitting that upright seemed like a good idea. And then over here, I've got a few things pulled out that will be a part of the Amazon Live event. So if you want to see that, I'll leave the link down below. But let me show you this amazing room. It's been incredible, absolutely incredible to sleep in here. And this gorgeous little sink area, you can see where I brought the little perfumes and a little bit of my jewelry is sitting over here and a few little things. I've kind of, this, it looked very cute when we got here, okay? Jack brought me this little, these are amazing. If you're gonna travel abroad, they have the cords for your phones or like the USB and then a bunch of plugs for your stuff. So um, yeah, I also had my nails done right before I left. And honestly, I've been a little unsure about it because I did that that SNS stuff and I was like, mm, I don't know. But I actually like the result. Let me know what you guys think. I'm a little bit on the fence. I still got the gels on my toes. But anyways, this is just so pretty with it up on the wall like that. And then the mirrors going up high. It's always such a good move. And then yes, yes. That is the water through here. I mean, what the heck? That is the view that we're looking at as we get ready. So um, we'll have the whole tour uh, live on the home channel. Let me set my coffee down for just a second. Uh, out here, you've got a little patio area. I haven't actually opened this. Yeah, okay, so we can come out on the patio this way. And then there's the rental car. They definitely don't have super fancy rentals here on the island, but that's okay. It's definitely been able to get, it got us and all the suitcases in it. So that was a big deal. And then you can see how beautiful it is. Look at this. Oh my gosh, guys, we're in Greece. <laughs> okay, let me show you over here. So these are other houses here. And then look at this land and the view. <laughs> oh my gosh, it, me and my long cord there. <laughs> got my cord and then we've got over here, um, over here we've got the shower, which is so nice. I love how modern it is. I love all the lime wash in this house and the rain shower has been amazing and I br did bring my own Aesop with me. And um, I've got some of the shampoos I also brought with me, but those are going into the Amazon live event. And then over here is the little toilet, little water closet. And then I love the little pendants and excuse the cord, I feel so bad, but their little decor in here is so nice. And I've got to tell you though, the bed is for me utter misery. <laughs> Jack loves it because it's hard and I am just dying on it. It's so firm. So I'm sure it's an upgraded mattress because everyone else has softer mattresses. And I sat down on Landon's this morning and I was like, oh, this is so nice and soft. I'm really, really missing our Birch mattress because we both actually sleep on that one really well. It just seems to just work for him who likes firm and me who likes a little bit softer, but yeah, there you go. But then you've got this really pretty little um, blanket over the bed and then they've got the little rug in here. Let me move the little chair. This is where we were chit chatting together with the little camera set up. They got the little chair in here. I'm having trouble with my audio, but let me just finish up the little tour here with my phone audio. Sorry for that. All right, so then over here, they've got the really nice kind of gauzy curtains, and then they've got some that are nice little blackouts lined in there. And then look at the little birdies. Oh my goodness. And then out here, we've got this 
amazing. This is just for this bedroom, okay? It's amazing. Got this little seating area. It's been a little bit windy, so sometimes we come out here and everything's a bit knocked over. But other than that, I mean, it's perfection. I love all the little lines from the little bamboo ceiling up here. And then guys, this is the view. This is the view. This is what I've been looking at in the morning. I think I've died and gone to heaven. I mean, it's one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm just like gonna cry just like looking at it again because I'm just so blown away. So unbelievable. And then we've got a little driveway for this house as well. And then you can kind of see down here, we've got several patios with this house. And then let's see, yep, there's Yaya. Hi, Yaya. <laughs> <laughs> Yaya sunbathing. She's such a beauty. Where are the boys? Did they end up going with Jack? They're right here. They're just ready to leave. Okay. And then she's got all the sunscreens with her down there. <laughs> Look at how cool this is. Don't worry. We're going to have a full home tour on the main home channel. I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek. So, yeah. Really, really beautiful. So, yeah. Here we come back inside. I'm going to throw on one of those bathing suits and go sit with my mom. And, um... Figure out where my water cup ended up, actually. I'm not sure where Jack put it earlier. So go find my water, finish up my coffee, and sit in the sun for a few minutes. And then uh, we'll be filming the Amazon Live in just a little bit. And then we, we'll go to dinner. So I will take you for sure to dinner with us. And um, yeah, it's going to be an amazing day. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, we're in Greece. We're in Greece. How is this happening? I can't believe it. Unbelievable. All right. All right. See you guys in a bit.